Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI, now with select multiple images, pause export, and export again. This is version 2.1.2. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thanks for joining me again today. We're going to get a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI version 2.1.2. Now with select multiple images, pause export, and export again. We'll get a look at those today and find out what they're all about. On the screen right now, you can see the changes since the last update. You might want to pause the video and check these out, but I want to look at the ability now to select multiple images and also the ability to pause export and export again, which is great when you're doing batch processing. So those are the two items we'll look at today. Well, let's dive right in. What is selecting multiple images all about? Right now in Topaz Photo AI, you see I have a bunch of images here. Now these are more like painterly style images that I created uh, using Firefly, Adobe Firefly. And if you want to batch out a bunch of images at once, and let's say you want to apply the same settings to all of the images, this is where this really comes in handy. You'll notice down here, we now have select all. So if I click select all, I'll select all those images. By the way, there's also a shortcut to select all images, and that is Command or Control A. And you'll find your shortcuts if you come up here to the Topaz menu, click on Preferences. You'll find all your preferences categorized in groups here and under Shortcuts. Here's your general shortcuts when you just click on Shortcuts. But if you come down and click on Select, these are shortcuts for selecting, like Select All, Deselect All, Next Image, Previous Image and then we can just click cancel. That's where you'll find your shortcuts. Now, one shortcut that they were missing was, well, what if I don't want to select all? What if I only want certain ones, right? And I was like, where's that shortcut? They need to add that shortcut, by the way. But I figured it out. It's very simple. All you need to do is hold your command on a Mac, control on a PC key down, and Right now they're all selected, right? But say I don't want this image, I can command or control click it and deselect it. Or what if I don't want this image, the first one, I could command or control click it and not select it. And then if an image isn't selected, the same command or control click will reselect that image again. Okay, so command, control click to select or deselect. So in this case, I'm going to deselect this one again by command or control clicking it. Now, right now, I'd be working on this image, okay? And you can see it's selected because see the three dots there in blue and all these other dots are in black, right? So these three are selected. I was thinking if I would make an adjustment to this, these all would get the same adjustments, but that is not true, okay? In other words, if I'm working on this image, and right now it's upscaled to 1.7 times. This is the autopilot setting on it, by the way. But what if I wanted it upscaled four times? So let me click 4X and it'll go ahead and upscale this four times. And now this is a painterly image and instead of low resolution, I decide I wanna use graphics. So let me click on graphics. But then let's say I want these three selected images to all have those same settings here's what you have to do. We need to come to the thumbnail of this image and see the three dots right here, click this, and then come up here to apply. Now we have choices here. We can apply autopilot to all the images or autopilot to selected images, but right here, current settings to selected images. In other words, if I click this, the same settings that are on this image will go to the three selected images. So let me go ahead and click this. And now this message comes up. Are you sure you want to apply the currently displayed image settings to all open images? And I do, so I'll click apply. And so that means these three images will all be four times upscaled. They'll all have the graphics AI model and the minor denoise and the minor de blur settings will be the same on all three images. Now I want you to notice something. If I hover over this thumbnail, you could see it says upscaling by four times. It says graphics, and then we have 50% and 34%. 50% stands for the minor denoise. 34% stands for the minor de blur. Now if I hover over this image right here, you'll notice it says upscale. Graphics, 
50%, 34%, same as the image to the left of this thumbnail. But you notice it says upscale by scale. We don't see a number there yet because I didn't click on this image, but you'll notice it says optional. Click to preview copied settings. You can save without previewing, so bear that in mind. I don't have to actually click on these images. I could go right over here, you'll notice right now it says save three images because these are the only three images that are selected. These other two images will stay here, but these three I can save out because we can see save three images here. But now let me go ahead and click on this image and then I want you to notice what it says over here under upscaling. Okay, so let me click on this image, but you'll notice it is upscaled four times just like the previous image was. It's set for graphics and it is set at 50 and 34. Now, I'm gonna point something out to you which could really throw you off course here. You remember I had all three of these images selected and they were all based on the settings of this first image of this house. As soon as I clicked on this one, it no longer says save three images over here, does it? Which could throw you, right? But let's say I'm ready to go ahead and export these three images. I'll work on this first and the last image later, okay? I want to export these three images, so what I need to do is reselect this image and this image. So command or control click on the house, that selects that one. Command or control click on the dog, that selects that. So now all three images are selected, and notice it says save three images over here, and they all have the same settings on them. So now I can click save three images. And here you can see my three images with the exact same settings and the upscaling is the same on all three. And I'm using my prefix of photo AI. I'm going to the original folder. I'm preserving the input format. And now all I need to do is click save. Now here is where a change comes in. When I click save, you notice now I have pause processing. I can click pause processing and pause that processing. Let's say maybe I got the upscaling size wrong, so I could go ahead and close the window and go back into Photo AI and change things and then come back and save out again. So we could pause the processing if we needed to, but I don't really need to do that, so I'll just click resume processing and we'll go ahead and let these process out. And then when it's done, I'll get right back to you. And now after it's done processing, you'll notice now I get an option to export again. Now you may say, well, why would you want to export again? Well, let's say for instance, you wanted to save these out onto an entirely different hard drive. So what we could do is click on export again. And now we have the option to come up here and come to save to location. I'll click the drop down and click on browse. And let's say I want to save these to my desktop. So I'm on my desktop right now. And then all I need to do is click on select location. And now I can click save again. And now resave all three images out onto my desktop. And now I have my images saved at two different locations. I don't want to export again, so I can just click close window. And now you'll notice those three images are gone because I'm done saving them. And I just have these two images left. And so now I can go ahead and process those any way I want. But there you go. I know that was a little tough trying to explain all this to you, but I wanted to take the time and do it because I know it could trip some of you up out there. But now we have the abilities to select multiple images and we have the ability to pause and export, to resume and export, and also the ability to export again in case you wanted to save out to multiple locations. There it is. I hope you enjoyed this first look at Topaz Photo AI version 2.1.2. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.